So, now let's get down to the nitty gritty. Hey, what kiddo. do you want to eat? Here are the choices. <laughs> it's gonna be, have to be the bacon omelette. No, there's no choice about that one. Eggs and bacon, no, oh, yeah. Food of champions. I was dreaming about your bacon omelette. <laughs> This is the Angel of Dice, and welcome to Life is Strange, Chapter 2, Out of Time, and look what we have. We have a message from Chloe. Let's see what she wants. Running late, grab a booth at a diner. Mum will feed you. Somebody better. I'll be lucky if you make it by noon. Let's go into the diner. But first, let's have a look, look around, shall we? Now, I think the Geek Remix did the license plates, and it's all programmed. The... the killing? If you take out all the vowels, yeah, the killing, okay. Donnie Darko. Groundhog Day. The Faculty? Maybe, I don't know. Breaking Bad on an RV. Nice touch, nice touch. There's that dirty RV from the other day. Uh, stop that! Stop! No barky. There was something creepy about that guy and his dog. Obviously nobody took my advice. So breaking bad on an RV. <laughs> nice. Let's see. Oh good, let's see. What have we got? North. No, I have no idea what that one is. Did we look at that one? The killing is RJ McReady. Oh. What if that means anything? Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. And the man made drought in the bay. Oh. Good morning. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. Has the town changed much? By Neptune's beard it has. Seems like a lifetime ago when I was king of the harbor. You did pretty good to have lasted this long. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat until the Prescotts and their finance fiends snapped up harbor rights. The Prescotts have a lot of power. They might rename the town Prescott Bay. If that tells you much. They own my school. Crooks gain respect when they put their names on schools and libraries. Let's not get downcast. I hear the fish calling for Bali High. Never forget that old fishermen never die. We just smell that way. I'd love to learn more, but I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. I think I've talked my quota for the year. Yes, we have bacon and eggs. Only five ninety five. Which it will be about five ninety five, which will be about three pound fifty. Which isn't too bad actually. I think I'll have that. Snow? 
Well, that's a good start to the story. Weather Service baffled by snow in a rare admission, the National Weather Service has yet to come up with a conclusive reason for the unusual snowfall that briefly hit Arcadia Bay, Oregon, this week. Let's speak to this guy. Excuse me, sir? Can you believe this town? The world is on fire, and our big headline is snow. I can hardly wait for next week's big story. Clouds! But winter is coming. How long have you lived here? Long enough to know that Arcadia Bay will be a ghost town in a few years. I keep reading how Arcadia Bay is booming. The paper can only talk about that or about missing girls. You mean Rachel Amber? Well, I guess. I bet she ran away because she was bored. Who wouldn't be here? Excuse me. I have to read my horoscope. Uh, what's that one? LP... Uh, no, I don't know that one. Please help me, people. You can tell me what that one's about. Because I have no idea. Hello. Oh, look at you. A fine example of youth. I bet you're a senior student. Yes, I go to Blackwell Academy. I could tell you're a wise young woman. I know all about Blackwell and this town. You must know Joyce Price from the Two Whales Diner. She's fed me more than my own family. How's a daughter your age who's always in trouble? Preacher sister. Married to a real prick. Mm hmm. His name is David Madsen. He told me to get a job once, asshole. Not sure what Joyce sees in him, but he better treat her right. I bet you have dirt on the Prescott family. That whole family is dirty. They once done good things for Arcadia Bay. Those days are dead, like anything in their way. I know somebody who's being threatened by a Prescott. Then you be their guardian angel, because nothing gets in the way of that family, especially not the law. Hell, they own your school, Blackwell. Almost. And we are going to be the guardian angel. Again, foreshadowing. How long have you lived in Arcadia Bay? A thousand years. I've gone through the same changes as the town. What changes to the town? Once it takes a lifetime to see. There's a lot of beauty here, but a lot of darkness, too. Greedy bastards that ruin this town put people out of work. Out of home. Like me. I'm sorry. Have you ever lived outside of here? Where the hell would I go? I hate the sun and love the mist. I might be homeless, but Arcadia Bay is still my home. I have to go now. Goodbye. I think he uh, passed. Hello, how do you do? Wow, it's a lot of Rachel Amber posters. Man, that smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware mm, makes me feel 13 again.
Good lord. Talk about apocalyptic. <laughs> Taking over to town. I don't feel like talking right now. I gotta deliver a load of breakfast to my stomach. Over and out. Huh. I understand that. Uh, hello? Pardon moi, but you're in my eyesight. Isn't everything in here within eyesight? I don't care for your tone. You sound like Joyce. How does Joyce sound? Bossy and smartass. Like you. Joyce rules. I want to be exactly like her when I grow up. Looks like you're on your way. I've been coming to this dive for three years, and Joyce gives me shit like it's going out of style. That's how she rolls. That's why I worship her every move. Good. I can't wait to see you flipping greasy bacon in a diner when you grow up. Exactly like Joyce. Now pardon me while I get back to my coffee. Yeah, yeah. Hello, sir. Hi, young lady. You look a little lost. Oh, just hungry. Just hungry and thinking about what to eat. Now that is a real problem at the uh, two wells. I can never decide. Joyce's pumpkin pie? Or grilled mac and cheese. Both. So, you know Chloe? Sadly, we all know Chloe down at the station. <sighs> Poor Joyce. Just heard that Chloe even had a pot dealer in her room. Uh, that's not good. Anyway, hmm, that bacon sure smells good. Is she a friend of yours? Of course. I know her. Then you know she's a handful. No, I think she's just had some bad luck. You have to create your own good luck. I think Chloe would rather destroy. But I'm just a cop, not a psychologist, so... I guess you're friends with David Madsen. I wouldn't use that word. We know each other. Why do you ask? He kind of has a reputation at Blackwell. I have respect for David. He served his country. He found his calling at Blackwell. At the station, we're happy David is exactly where he is. <laughs> Not everybody can be a cop. How well do you know Joyce? I know her delicious grub. Everybody at the station comes here. We take care of this place like it's our own kitchen. And Joyce, like she's our, our mother. I have to go now. Enjoy your breakfast. By the way, one thing I can tell you for certain is to stay away from that RV outside. I usually stay away from sketchy parked vehicles. Wise policy. The guy who lives in it, Frank, is pretty sketchy himself. That's all I can say for now. I should finish up my coffee and get to work. What do you want? I feel like shit. Too much beer, so spare me, please. Just let me suffer quietly. On the news, it's all about the snow. Ooh, gumball machine. Oh man, I bet that's the same gum from when I was here last. Look at the leaflets. This guy has serious corners. I might make Chloe check this out with me. Hmm. Bigfoot. And Bigfoot is real. That's like shark fishing. Why does that so not sound fun? I like the water. It's nice and calm. The poster doesn't mention whacked students with guns. No, it doesn't. Listen, post. Uh, we need to get our bacon on. You'd never know how weird this town is by these postcards. Ooh, like a kitty. I 
I would buy a shirt, but they're so damn tourist. Kate Marsh. Right. Flash before. Well, that's always a good rule. That graffiti has been here forever. Thank you, redneck poet. Ooh, another deer. No, another doe. Another picture. Fire walk with me. And we got an achievement. Compressed. There we go. Gross. What does that say? I was just about to say who's Rachel, but no, that's the person that we're missing. Hello there to you! Such a beautiful day, eh? Oh yeah, it's gonna be a super day. Enjoy your breakfast, eh? I assume she's supposed to be Canadian. Did you catch any big ones today? If by big you mean none, then sure. I caught a lot of big ones today. Now let me mourn over my eggs. Ah, uh, so that one's Trevor. What's up, Justin? Getting my coffee on before I cut class and destroy some rails. Shouldn't you be taking photos? I am always taking photos. I am a camera. <laughs> you cracked me up, Maxter. Of course I'm baked. So I'll laugh at anything. You should be studying, bad boy. So where's all your homework, schoolgirl? School? Speaking of buds, I saw your bro Trevor sneaking out of Dana's room. Trevor finally told me about him and Dana hooking up. He got there first, so I snooze and I lose. See you later, Max. 